Next up, we have our mixing spin. We're just gonna mix our colors. Add my slinky napkins in. Some color has traveled. Okay, did you guys see that? It's walking. Princess toy review. Hi, princess and princesses. It's Princess T. Today we are back with another super easy science experiment that you can do with the help of your parents or an adult. For today's experiment, we are going to do the walking water science experiment. All you need for this science experiment are clear plastic cups. We need about, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of these. We also need some water, some food coloring, and napkins. Step one, take four cups and line them up in a straight line, just like so. Step two, let's pour some water inside these cups. So we're going to pour here. Third cup and the last cup. Now that we've poured all our water in, next up, let's go ahead and add our face coloring. So, I have red, yellow, blue, and purple. We're gonna start with red right over here, and we're gonna pour some drops right in here. I'm gonna add quite a bit. That's three drops. Next up, we're gonna do yellow. Next up, we are going to do blue. And last, we're going to do purple. Next up, we have our mixing spin. We're just gonna mix our colors. So, we're gonna mix our red, yellow, I think I put too much, so it's kind of orange, but that's okay. Blue. Purple. Okay, you guys, do you guys remember that we have three extra cups? Yes? Okay, so here's our three extra cups. We're just gonna space these cups out like so, so that these three extra cups can fit in the middle of them. Just like that. And then now we need some napkins. Okay, we're gonna take our paper towel and we're just gonna fold it. One, two, three folds. And we're just gonna flatten it like so. And at the end, we'll have six paper towels that are folded just like so. And I did cut them a little bit. So this is the regular length. I cut them a little bit because our cups are a little bit short. Okay, so our next step is, I'm gonna fold it in half like so. And, we're just going to insert it right here on this first cup. Okay, one here, and then one here. Stick in this one. I'm gonna stick in this one. One here, and last but not least, one here, and one here. Okay, so as I stuck the napkins in, some color has traveled, and the goal here is to get the colors to travel from one cup to the other cup with the napkins, like walking water, and then we're gonna see what colors are in between. So we're just gonna wait a bit and see what happens. Okay, did you guys see that? It's walking. So a day has passed. I went to bed and woke up and check it out. It is definitely our walking water science experiment as a success. I mean, like the water from the purple and the blue has traveled to this cup here to make a color between the two. And then look at the napkins here. We have like purple, then light blue, and kind of like a dark blue. And then over here we had our blue. And then over here we have our yellow. They have traveled and kind of made like a green color. Next, we had our yellow and our red that has kind of traveled to make kind of like an orange kind of color, but that's kind of like dark red, but check out the napkin. It looks so cool. 
That was such a super fun experiment and I love all the colors of the rainbow. If you guys would like us to do more fun experiments, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Leave a comment below to let us know what other experiment you would like us to try. Have a wonderful day. Bye, friends and princesses. Bye. Princess Toy Review. Hi, friends and princesses. It's Princess T, and today we're going to do a very fun and cool science experiment together. If you guys are watching this and you guys want to do this super cool experiment, make sure you get a parent to help you. So, let's get started. In front of me, I have some... <laughs> Skittles, be careful not to shake the bag that's been opened. And then I'm not going to shake this one, but we have some M&Ms. And I have some warm water and some cold water. Step one, arrange Skittles however you want on two white plates. Okay, I'm gonna start with red, and I'm just gonna put red on a little corner there. Let's see if you guys can guess what I'm making. Okay, next let's do some purple. Do you guys know what I'm making? If you do, leave a comment below to let me know your guesses. Last but not least, let's put some orange. So we have a circle right down here. And I'm gonna, going to add a little green circle on the inside, just like so. All done. What do you guys think it is? Dun dun dun! It's a donut! And you know what, I think it's missing some stuff. I think I need some sprinkles all the way around a little bit. Just a little bit of each color. On to plate number two with the Skittles. Now what design should I make here? Hmm. All right, can you guys guess what this is? What do you know that's yellow and green? Any wall guesses? If you guys know, leave a comment below. And if you don't, let me help you out. I'm going to add two purples right here. And then I have some reds that I'm gonna add right over here. Oh, oh that one's smush. Okay, that's like a little smiley face. And what do you think it is? If you guys said pineapple, you guys guessed right. And my favorite quote is, be a pineapple. Stand tall, wear a crown, and be sweet on the inside. So here I have some warm water and some cold water. So let's pour it in. So we have some warm water. There's some a little bit here. Whoa! And around here. Whoa! Look at that! Do you guys see all that color? Wow! <laughs> Skittles taste the rainbow. Look at all of that. Let's take a closer look at our donut Skittles. So we have our red here, purple, yellow, orange, and green. And then we have our little dots of our sprinkles. But do you guys notice how the colors do not mix? Like this red one right here is all red and it has like a little glump of purple, but they do not mix. Now let's do the same thing to our pineapple friend, but with cold water and see what happens. So, with the cold water, did you guys notice that it is working, but it's going super slowly compared to the warm water? Let's take a closer look. Here we go. It's working, but it's going a little bit slower compared to this warm water over here. Okay, so we're gonna let that sit there for a moment because I'm gonna go use these M&Ms to see if it works. These right here are eventually supposed to meet in the middle. The colors are supposed to come right here. So we're just gonna let that sit for just a bit. M&Ms are not only good for eating, they're good for this science experiment. So let's dump this out. Okay, we'll go with that. And then I'm going to arrange some on this plate. On this one, I'm gonna do different sections of color. Like we're just gonna do yellow. 
And then I'm gonna do orange. Next up is red. And then we're gonna go for, hmm, what color should we pick? Hmm, let's put green on this side here. And then I'm gonna put blue next. Last color out of our m ms is brown. So let's take some more browns and put it here. Ta-da, okay. So we're going to do a different design on the second plate over here. So for this one, it's gonna be super fun. I'm just gonna grab a handful of these M&Ms, put it on my plate, and I'm just gonna scatter them around. Doesn't matter the color. And we're just gonna make a circle around our plate. So I'm gonna use the warm water because we discovered this from our earlier experiment with the Skittles that the warm water makes the color run faster than the cold. So we're gonna go right over here and pour this warm water in this one and wait for our colors to meet in the middle. And let's do it into this one. Dun, dun, dun. <gasps> look at the colors! Whoa, take a look! Look at this one! This one looks super cool because it's like different colors and it's running and it's gonna meet in the middle. And look at this one, we have our separated color. So we have our brown, blue, green, yellow, orange, and red, and it's gonna meet in the middle. Whoa, did you guys see that? It went and it's all hanging out right there. Let's take a look at the other one. So this one, we have different random colors everywhere and slowly going there. Oh my goodness, it's almost done. Look at the pretty colors and it's meeting in the middle right there. It's just taking a little bit longer than we want, but it's so pretty. There it goes, there it goes. Voila, there's our center. So we have this one and this one. Which one do you guys like better? That was super duper cool. But did you guys notice that the Skittles meet faster than the M&Ms? But both of them work. So if you have M&Ms or Skittles in your pantry, you can do this experiment with an adult at home. Okay friends, that's the end of today's video. Leave a comment below to let us know which design was your favorite or if you liked M&Ms or Skittles more. If you guys would like more science experiment videos, give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe. Bye friends and princesses. Bye.